six. Five. All three engines up and burning. The space shuttle's three powerful main engines created more than 1.2 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Massive turbo pumps fed the fuel to the engines. And one tiny part inside those pumps, called impellers, has been adapted to save lives here on Earth. These uh, little uh, impellers that uh, would spin at incredible rates, um, they don't actually tend to destroy the red blood cells in our, in our bloodstream. So they were ideal uh, to be used uh, as sort of a, a heart assist device while patients are waiting for a heart transplant. Scott Parazinski is a retired NASA astronaut. He's also a medical doctor. When he walks in a hospital, Parazinski says he sees the real world benefits from space age technology and research. Much of it conducted on the International Space Station. The laboratory is used extensively to study the effects of microgravity on the human body. Parazinski describes space flight as an accelerated aging process. The space station is ideal, he says, for developing countermeasures to osteoporosis that affects us as we get older. But also, you know, it's a, an environment where you can study other effects of aging, uh, um, you know, weakening of uh, the muscles, bones, and heart, uh, balance disorders, uh, visual disturbances, changes to our immune function. So it's a wonderful uh, environment to, to test countermeasures that we can bring back to patients here on Earth. Spin-offs from space station research and also from its design are everywhere in society. Here's just a sampling. LED chips to grow plants in space are now used for wound healing, chronic pain, and even brain tumors. Robotics for intricate station repairs are used in knee surgery. A water filtration system designed to provide the astronauts with drinkable water is used throughout the world. Growing plants without soil called aeroponic gardens eliminates the need for pesticides and reduces water use by 98 percent. And Parazinski has no doubt many discoveries, important discoveries, will happen just by accident. Most of science is serendipity. We, we go in with our best hypotheses and uh, inevitably we find something else else out that we, you know, the, the most stunning uh, discoveries are the things that we didn't anticipate. Every day, NASA says, researchers from around the world are using the laboratory in space to conduct experiments and share results. China's new space station should give the world another platform to help improve how we live here on Earth. John Zarella, CGTN, Cape Canaveral, Florida.